As the war in Gaza rages on, a number of politicians are calling on Hamas to agree to the new Israeli ceasefire proposal. Among them is the UK Foreign Secretary, David Cameron. With a new hostage agreement on the table, Hamas must accept this deal so we can see a stop in the fighting. The hostages released and returned to their families and the flood of humanitarian aid into Gaza. A sentiment echoed by the German Foreign Minister, who has described the offer as a, quote, possible path out of the war's deadlock. We fully support the mediation efforts of the USA, Qatar and Egypt. It is now up to Hamas to prove their commitment to ending the conflict. After speaking to Biden, who earlier announced the proposal, Belgium's Prime Minister said the President asked him to encourage negotiations. We as Belgians would play our role to convince the Palestinians to get to the table. Getting to the table is the condition to start negotiations and during those negotiations the, um, the ceasefire would be, uh, would be applicable. EU Chief Ursula von der Leyen, meanwhile, described the three-step approach as balanced and realistic, and the UN Secretary-General has welcomed the proposition. Hamas, for its part, says it considers the offer positively and that it is ready to engage constructively with any proposal based on a permanent ceasefire if Israel, quote, declares its explicit commitment to that.